and I'm the owner and founder of Gage Girl Training, which is an online meal planning and coaching service. Excuse the hair. This is what happens when I fall asleep with it wet and I just finished my workout, um, did my post-workout, did my breakfast, have my water jug, and I'm really excited to be with you guys today. So let's give this another go around. I When I did the last one, my Bluetooth setting um, was on, so it was streaming to my headphones. So please let me know if you can hear me. If we could just start there um, with audio. If anyone can please chat and just let me know. Um, just let me know if you can hear me. Oh, Style and Grace, hello, good morning. And I'm so glad you enjoyed the last live and I hope that you will enjoy today's live as well. So everybody, please comment where you're from and please let me know how you found Gage Girl Training. I would love to know how you guys found me. And then last but not least, I know I'm asking a lot, but please leave a thumbs up on this video. It really helps the algorithm here on YouTube. So habits for fat loss, what are we talking about? The, the challenges in you reaching your goals is going to come down to your daily habits. I don't care what your genetics are. I don't care who your plastic surgeon is. I don't care like how much you say you want it. If your habits are not aligned on a day in, day out basis, you will not be successful. And the thing is, my friends, there are different levels to these habits. Some of these things are going to be harder to do than others, but I am going to give you a ton of habits and I want you to really think about these habits and whether or not you're actually doing them because not only are you going to lose body fat as a result of the habits I'm talking about, but you're going to have long lasting results. I was saying that prayer has allowed you to release so much anxiety and worry. Amen to that. I am down five pounds in 2024. Thank you from Miami. You found me 10 years ago on YouTube and I love that. Congratulations on your progress and prayer does change things. So if you guys are enjoying these live streams, please take two seconds, leave a thumbs up on the video. The number one habit for weight loss is meal prep. Meal prep. It takes the decision making out of your daily basis of what am I going to eat? How much of this am I going to eat? Is this good? Is that good? Is this bad? Is that bad? Like every day you eat multiple times a day and every day you need to make a decision regarding food. And if every time, if you get um, overwhelmed overthinking things, I call it analysis paralysis. I know some people who are overthinkers, like chronic overthinkers, and to the point that you can really stress yourself out as a result. You can really, really, really stress yourself out by overthinking things and, and complicating matters that aren't as complicated as you're making them out to be. Um, so with that being said, my friends, meal prepping. And meal prepping, it may not be the funnest thing on the planet. And I'm going to be honest. It, I know it's not for everybody. Sorry as I just get my hair out of my face. I know it's not for everybody. But if you are at the point where you're like, I want these results. And you know that you don't, it's like, it's like you almost don't trust yourself to make good choices throughout the day because you know you're going to be maybe distracted by what somebody else is eating or you're going to want to go out to eat and so on and so forth. And a lot of times if you're unprepared for what the day is going to have for you, that's where you start making bad choices. Um, you, If you get stressed, you get a headache. I'm very sorry to hear that. Day D says, getting caught hungry and unprepared is usually the catalyst of me falling out of my health and diet and hurls me into a binge that takes so much work to get out of. And this is the thing. Meal planning needs to be more important than your workouts. I repeat, meal planning needs to be more important than your workouts. I do not care if you work out seven days a week. 
if you don't have a plan with the food, my friends, like I just did a, a TikTok yesterday where I said, how many calories do you burn if you walk 10,000 steps a day? Can you guys guess real quick for me? Guess how many calories you burn if you walk 10,000 steps a day? Just, just guess your com in the comments. Guess how many calories 10,000 steps? Because in, in, in a lot of our minds, I don't know about you guys, 10,000 steps is quite a bit. So how many calories do you think you burn? 150, okay, anybody else have a guess? Um, is pre-workout bad in the morning for hypothyroidism? Only if it has caffeine. Um, a caffeine-free one is fine. I would recommend Gage Life's Woo pre-workout. We have a stimulant-free version. So people are guessing 300. I'm glad that you guys are guessing conservatively. So my point is, you're gonna end up burning roughly 400 calories. So you guys are pretty spot on, but here's the thing. How long would it take you guys to get in 10,000 steps in a day? Like for me, it would take me most of the day if I don't do a cardio session. Does that make sense? It would take most of the day like for your daily cumulative movement to add up. But here's my point. How fast can you eat 400 calories? You could eat 400 calories in a minute my friends, like one cookie, like one big cookie could be 400 calories. It doesn't take much. It does not take much. You guys need to look at the way you spend your calories in a completely different way. And, and here's why. How many of you guys watching this right now, again, ask you guys to please take two seconds to give the live stream a thumbs up. If you guys could please do that for me, it would mean a lot. It really helps me out here on the channel. And if you are just joining, we are talking about habits for weight loss in 2024. And the first one we're discussing is meal prep. And we were talking about um, viewing the way you spend your calories. We need a wake up call. For example, we need a wake up call. And that wake up call needs to be, imagine, if you you have to look at your calories like money you have to look at your calories like money and what if for every calorie you ate it cost you a dollar right and i'm just speaking hypothetically and, and here's why so let's say you have 1500 calories you have to eat in a day or whatever you're at but let's just say 1500 calories and let's say that was going to cost you one thousand five hundred dollars if it cost you a dollar to eat every calorie, you would be far more conservative. You would not just be randomly snacking on things, biting on things, licking things, tasting things. You, you wouldn't be so mindless with it. And I'm saying that because you need to draw an awareness to it because you have a daily caloric budget. Yes, all of you have a daily caloric budget, meaning you all have a certain amount of calories you can spend on food every day. And some of you guys are terrible with budgets. Terrible. Like, and I, I really wanna drive this point into you because stored body fat is food debt. I repeat, stored body fat is food debt. So those fat cells on your stomach that you don't like or on your legs or on the back of your arms or, or maybe you're rocking a double chin right now and you hate it. Like, those are choices you made. Those were foods you chose to indulge in and you never burned the calories off and you never worked it back off. And you are going to continue to deal with those calories that you willingly decided that you wanted. And the thing that a lot of you guys are not, it's not registering that you are dealing with food debt. And it's like, imagine... Every purchase you made, you put on a credit card, 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 but you never pay the credit card off. That's like eating and not burning the appropriate amount of calories to justify what you're eating. So a lot of you guys really need a huge mental recalibration of the fact that every time you're eating something, it adds calories it adds energy to your body and that's not a bad thing but if you're not going to spend those calories and if you're not 
active enough and if you're not utilizing the fuel you are feeding your body you're gonna be in in a world of mess you're gonna be in a world of mess and how many of you guys can honestly say christine yo i need to recalibrate my mindset when it comes to my food choices um naturally shay i've been following you for seven years i purchased your hormone reset i've lost weight but it seems back when I go back to a regular healthy diet, the weight comes back. I also do 10 step, 10K steps a day. So when you go back to a regular healthy diet, you need to consider that you may need to still, you still need to be in a caloric deficit, meaning the total daily caloric intake still matters. Your macros still matter. So it's not sufficient to just eat healthy foods you still need to have targets and goals. And some people will do a plan and then they just come off of it and switch to not tracking and kind of eating intuitively based off of whatever fits the mood, fits the vibe in the moment. But the problem is you, you can't do that. Does that make sense? You can't do that. Okay, so with that being said, the next habit for weight loss is drinking more water. Drinking more water. It sounds basic, but I'm going to explain to you why water is so important. How much water you drink in a day is going to directly affect your body's ability to oxidize fat and turn it into a fuel and to burn it. That chemical reaction of fat oxidation actually occurs in your liver. And the liver needs to be properly hydrated. You need to have plenty of water for that reaction to go through to completion. And a lot of you guys are stunting fat oxidation due to insufficient hydration in your body. And guys, it is the simplest thing you can do. Simple, 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 simple. It's not hard. Go get a bottle of water, fill it up. I got this thing at TJ Maxx. Um, there's a time stamps on it and I fill it up every morning I have these like five gallon jugs of water um, that are delivered to my house I drink one liter of water a day with a pinch of sea salt I can't do more than that you can do more than that it's just things seem hard at first not because they're hard they seem hard because they're new I drink four liters of water a day So Day D says, I love water and don't struggle in drinking. My issue is that I end up getting headaches or more thirsty than before. If that's the case, I would encourage you to start taking my magnesium glycinate and perhaps start adding some electrolytes. Start adding some electrolytes because that will make a big difference. Um, the second reason why water is so important, number one, like I said, it's important for fat oxidation. If you're going to be working out and eating healthy and skipping alcohol and doing all of those things why on earth would you not make it why would you not give yourself every opportunity to maximize fat loss water is the simplest easiest thing you can do in addition to that a lot of times we mistake hunger with dehydration i, I remember the other day i was feeling hungry i was like mm, i need an apple i need an apple but the thing is, I was in my brain, the real reason I wanted that apple is because apples are juicy and like there's some water to them. So I, I paused and I said, hang on, not that there's anything wrong with an apple and I still ate my apple. But my point is, I said, Christine, drink some water first. Anytime you feel like you need to munch on something or like you need to go for a snack or like you just, you know when you get that like snacky feeling? Pause, drink water. And if you ultimately want to end up eating something, that's fine. But if we can get in the habit of not only drinking more water, but drinking water before you reach for some BS snacks, how many of you can honestly say that if you paused, drank some water before you started snacking on some shit, that you probably, number one, would not have ate as much 
if not anything at all. How many of you know that you would benefit from using water as a tool to pause before you start snacking on stuff? Um, Wendy says, I drink a lot of water, but I hate that it pauses your workout to run to the bathroom. Is that a Stanley? No, I'm not doing, I don't do Stanley. Guys, this is a $10 water bottle from TJ Maxx. I, I would drink out of a Stanley bottle if somebody gave it to me, but I'm not doing all that. I'm just not doing all that. For those of you guys just joining, my name is Christine Heronic, food scientist, chemical engineer, owner of Gage Girl Training and Gage Life Nutrition Supplements. We're talking about the best habits for fat loss in 2024. Day D says, agreed, outside of water, moving and doing something else to keep my mind busy always works better. Absolutely. Now, um, why not? Because I have plenty of containers that are perfectly fine. Like, I don't need, I just don't need one, if that makes sense. I don't need one. And I think people are getting a little fanatical about it. So, but if, if that works for you guys, I have... All I want you guys to do is be hydrated. So if you guys are enjoying this live stream, I only had one person, my friends, give me a thumbs up. So I'm asking you, please, if you like what I'm talking about, please just stop and hit the thumbs up button on here. Um, so that way I can keep doing these things because that is all I'm asking you guys is for the thumbs up button, the thumbs up button, not the hearts. Um, so with that being said, the next habit for weight loss in 2024 is sleeping longer. Sleeping longer. How many of you guys know for a fact that you would save yourself from nighttime binges if you just turned in earlier? If you just turned in earlier and just slept longer? Um, Sleep deprivation is very real. It throws you off. Do I have anyone that sleep deprived boat? Um, when your sleep is off, when your sleep is absolutely off, um, where is the thumbs up button? That is a good question. I'm not sure because I am streaming on here, but um yeah I, I cannot tell I cannot I cannot tell you um so here's the thing sleeping longer is going to allow you to help increase your weight loss it there are studies that prove that longer sleep helps with that because sleep deprivation is actually linked to higher body weight sleep deprivation is linked to higher body weight um, oh, thank you guys for finding the thumbs up button. I love you guys. I really appreciate it. And I'm so sorry to be such a pain in the ass about it, but it just helps out so much here on YouTube. If you guys were in my shoes, you would understand. Um, but the thing is, if you have a few nights of sleep deprivation, that can almost guarantee that it's going to lead to immediate weight gain. And that's because like, when you're not getting enough sleep, it jacks up your cortisol, it jacks up your hormones, it jacks up your hunger. Um, do I think that dehydration impacts sleep? I'm probably deficient in magnesium and my sleep is not deep, so I'm supplementing with melatonin. I actually would recommend supplementing with my magnesium glycinate instead of melatonin um, as that really, really helps. So guys, getting longer sleep is crucial. And if you're struggling with your sleep, you guys, go to gagelife.com, pick up my new magnesium supplement. It is a game changer, changed my life. Um, you guys can save with code GL10, GL10 on gagelife.com. Um, so guys, we talked meal prepping, drinking more water, sleeping longer. And I mean this, my friends, sleep needs to be a serious priority it needs to be a priority i mean you need to have your mind made up right now ab about when you're going to go to bed because i think that so many people you're working all day you want to wind down you're not ready to go to bed just yet but guys sometimes just calling it a day allowing your body to rest is going to just make a very very profound difference um the next thing is eating slowly um, 
have you, it's funny, I have a, a friend, and I remember a couple years ago, every time we would sit down to eat together, um, I remember every time we would sit down to eat together, and we would, I would look at her, and again, I'm not trying to sound mean, but she would inhale her food. I'm talking like I've had a few sips of my water, maybe a bite or two of my appetizer or whatever happened to be, be eating at the time. And she'd be done her whole whole plate so fast. And I was like, I'm like, girl, like, why are you eating so fast? Like, I just didn't understand it. And it was just a habit of hers. And I was encouraging her to eat a little bit slower. And you said you eat slowly. Eating slowly is a game changer. And a couple things that help you eat slower, obviously drinking water during your meal and not eating while, don't multitask when you eat. Does that make sense? Don't multitask when you eat. So if you multitask when you eat, maybe you're working in front of the computer, maybe you're eating in front of the TV, maybe you're on the phone, like sit down when it's time to eat, eat and don't do other things at the same time. That's definitely going to help make sure you're drinking plenty of water. And try to eat, if you're eating a meal, give yourself at least 20 minutes to get through it. I'm talking savor each bite, chew it thoroughly. You don't have to be eating like a horse or like a barnyard animal like chew every bite savor the taste maybe you need to rest your fork and actually this is going to sound strange but maybe you need to put your fork down physically on the plate between bites while you chew you don't need to be like like this the entire time you could like have a bite you know take it in so there is that eating slower now, obviously exercise. Obviously exercise is going to be an essential habit for weight loss. Now, how many of you guys struggle with getting into a workout routine? How many of you guys struggle with that? Does anybody struggle with getting into a exercise routine? I know it can feel really intimidating at first, some people are really set in their ways. Some folks know they need to do it, but it can be really, really hard as, as stand, as, as, um, as get it, establishing that um, rhythm. But with that being said, my friends, exercise needs to be a habit. Um, the next one is weighing yourself. Now, I want to talk about weighing yourself because there's pros and cons to this. There's pros and cons to weighing yourself. Who watching this weighs yourself daily? Does anybody here weigh themselves daily? I have some clients that that works really great for because if they weigh themselves daily, it keeps them acutely aware, kind of like where they stand in the, in the spectrum of things. However, I have other folks who the number on the scale could ruin your whole day. And... I think that once a week is good. I think definitely once a week is good, but it has been shown that weighing yourself daily could help foster more weight loss. Now, um, it, it just, it depends on the individual. It depends on the goal, but I think that if you can manage your mindset if you can manage your mindset and don't let it get to you as a result, and you could just take it in as data, use it as information, yes, that can certainly help. Now, the next habit, when I wake up, I can tell how I feel from going up and down, and that's definitely very helpful. Um, the next habit for weight loss, and this is a lifestyle thing, is incidental exercise. Incidental exercise. Now. Incidental exercise can be tricky to implement, but it can be things like playing with your dogs. It could be parking further away. 
in the parking lot so you get more steps in. Um, incidental exercise could be, let's say you're in a, in a big building with your work and instead of using the bathroom that's nearest your office, maybe you use the bathroom on the next floor or the bathroom that's further away. It's incidental exercise is finding ways to just add more daily movement. And how many of you guys you got? Oh boy, oh boy. Um, how many of you guys are intentionally aware of when you're doing incidental exercise? I know I'm aware when I'm doing incidental exercise because I prioritize it. Um, if I have stuff going on, I will make sure that I'm doing those things. Now, Another habit that's going to support your weight loss in 2024 is getting some sun. Getting some sun. Now, I'm not talking about abusing the sun, but vitamin D that you receive from the sun, it elevates your mood, it keeps you healthy, it helps to regulate your appetite, and it helps to regulate your appetite it helps your circadian rhythms. And and Sunder Ben says, I'm aware when I'm doing it, but that's mainly because I do it rarely. Um, so with that being said, getting some sun. And I don't know about you guys, in the winter months, the winter months can be really challenging. Does anybody here, has anyone here ever had seasonal effectiveness disorder um, where like, the cold, dark winter months, the days are shorter, dark a lot of the time, um, that can really, mm, that can re sorry guys, I need to block these trolls, that can really impact your fat loss. And I think that a lot of my clients have a tendency to have more success in the summer months, in the warmer weather. Um, Granted, you can accomplish your goals at any time of the year, but there's something about that warmth. There's something about that sunshine. There's something about it that just makes the barrier to exercising so much lower. Um, the next thing that we are going to talk about is giving your protein a boost. How many of you guys actively take protein supplements? How many of you guys take protein supplements and how many of you guys take the Gage Life Nutrition Supplements? Taking a protein supplement is a really easy way to boost your, boost your protein. It's a very, very easy way. Why is protein so important for losing weight? Protein is the only macronutrient that contains nitrogen. There are three, there are three macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fat. Protein, carbs, and fat. And I'm just gonna say this once: anyone who's trolling me, you're gonna be banned from the you're gonna be banned from the channel for life. So I am not joking. Like, please be respectful. If you say anything out of pocket, I'm banning you from the channel and I'm blocking you. Okay, thank you very much. It gets very frustrating when I'm trying to do these live streams and people are putting monkey ass comments on here. I don't appreciate it. So thank you for that respectfully. Um, protein is the only macronutrient that contains nitrogen. When your body is in a positive nitrogen balance, it forces your body to burn fat as a fuel source while maintaining your muscle. Yes, and people are strange, but it forces your body to burn fat while keeping muscle. So, All right, so with that being said, my friends, how many of you guys know that protein needs to be prioritized in your day? How many of you guys know that protein needs to be increased? Getting enough protein is very, very challenging. It is very, very challenging. And um, I think that, I think the more protein you take, the more that you are aware of it. 
you've definitely been trying to increase the amount of protein I'm eating, but yeah, it is really hard. And I agree that it is very hard. Um, what I do is my post-workout shake. I do two scoops of the Gage Life Whey Isolate. And if you have not taken my protein yet, it is phenomenal. It is the highest quality, all natural protein supplements. And it is only from grass-fed cows. It is, you know, there's no added hormones. There's no pesticides. There's nothing like this. Now, I, I do two scoops. So two scoops gives me 50 grams of protein in one shot. And for me, you guys, um, I need 150 grams of protein per day. So for me to just get 50 grams right off the bat, it makes a very big difference. I'm trying to get protein is hard, but you're working on it. What do you think about protein shakes that are already made? I think there's a level of convenience to it. Um, see, here's the thing. Premier Protein, um, I know that's sold at Costco. That's really cheap, but it's cheap for a reason. There are milk proteins in it. There are a lot of artificial sweeteners in it. I am not necessarily a fan. I am not necessarily a fan, but if it's within your budget and that's all you can access. Something is better than nothing. I Does it make you sick by consuming that much? The answer is no. The answer is no, it does not make me sick. It's what transforms my body. That's what really gets my physique. That's what gets like my shoulders looking tight, like my stomach looking really lean and flat, like my glutes are fuller, my thighs are tighter. Like my quad, I start to see those those separation lines in my quads and it's what changes my body. And as a result of that, it's easy to keep going with something once you start to see results. How many of you guys need to see results to be motivated enough to keep going? Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? Like, if nothing changes, nothing changes. And too many of you guys are doing the same thing thing over and over and over again and you're not going to have any um, positive experiences as a result of that so sheena i have a wonderful solution for you and you're going to love it like i said i'm going to say this one last time anybody who comments some some stuff on on my live streams that is not contributing to the conversation, you are gonna be banned from my channel. And I don't care. Um, so who just said that? Sheena, I know I need to up my protein, but I don't like the taste. Here is what I suggest you do. I'm having a sale right now on gagelife.com on my collagen peptides. I have unflavored collagen peptides, Sheena. So the unflavored collagen peptides, it tastes like nothing. You can add it to your coffee. You can add it to soup. You can literally like add it to like wonton soup. You could add it to tomato sauce. It tastes like nothing. And it gives you 20 grams of protein per scoop. And girl, it is a game changer. And we're having a huge Super Bowl sale right now on gagelife.com. I'm actually gonna pull it up so you guys can see. I'm having this sale on three of my best products. So right here you guys um so gina we're talking about this one this is the gauge life collagen unflavored we also have it in chocolate these are nice to add to your coffee and my vegan protein this is a vegan collagen booster and it's buy one get one free the unflavored chocolate peptides and the coffee bean flavored vegan protein um this goes until the end of the Super Bowl on Sunday night. So you have to add both items to your cart to be eligible for this automatic discount at checkout. And again, we are on gagelife.com. So please do not miss out on this amazing opportunity to save, guys. It's buy one, get one free. It is, the chocolate is incredible, Felicia. Um, I personally love it. I know I'm biased, but I love it. It's, it's not too sweet, if that makes sense. It it has a nice flavor to it, um, but the collagen peptides, it's $59.99, but it's buy one, get one free. It is a steal. It is a complete steal. Does collagen count towards protein? The answer is yes, it does. Yes, it does. 
Um, somebody asked a question. What is the name of the protein you recommend and where can I get it? I recommend Gage Life Nutrition Supplements. You can order it on gagelife.com. Now, if you are a first-time customer and you're, and you're just trying to get one thing, um, you guys can use the code GL10, but that doesn't apply to the buy one, get one free, and that is a huge steal, so I hope that you guys please enjoy. Um, yeah, definitely try the flavorless, girl. Like, it's really easy. It tastes like nothing, but the only thing I'm gonna tell you, Sheena, is it dissolves better in warmer liquids, and make sure you blend it really well. You may not be able to just do a spoon stir. You might need to use a blender, but use, um, put it in soups, put it in like a tomato sauce. You can hide it in a lot of things. And I actually have clients who hide this in food for their children, for their, or for their significant other to get more protein. So that is going to be a really, really big deal. It's going to be very, very beneficial. Um, but a high protein diet is one of the most important habits that you can start integrating to make things better for you and your fat loss goals. Now, the last thing I'm going to say today, my friends, is don't give up on yourselves. 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 I know that losing weight is hard, my friends. I know that getting into that routine is very hard. And the thing is, you can do hard things, but you just have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. And I'm inviting you guys to join my winter challenge. We're already into February, but I want you guys to start in, in March. I am having a winter challenge for six weeks. It starts on March 11th goes to April 22nd. And this is going to be a great opportunity for you guys to really commit. Enrollment is open now. Um, is shipping free? Unfortunately, the shipping is not free, but it is buy one, get one free. The, the shipping's not free for me either. Um, I'm not Amazon, but uh, it, it all you are being charged is what I am being charged for shipping. Um, so that's how that works. Um, so please check that out. Um, and last but not least, my friends, like I said, I am inviting you guys to join the winter challenge. It comes with custom macros that change every two weeks. It comes with workouts that are for your macro type. It comes with weekly Zoom Q&A meetings with me. It comes with access to the private Gage Girl accountability forum for daily support and it comes with prizes for the best transformation. So friends, um, before you sign off of this live stream, you guys gotta go to the three dots apparently, find the thumbs up button. I'm asking you guys from the bottom of my heart to please uh, give this live stream a thumbs up. The winter challenge is $129 for three weeks. Is protein powder safe for kids? The answer is yes. Um, so please make sure that you join that winter challenge because you have to commit to something. And I think that if those of you guys who are not currently in my New Year's challenge um, and you're like, Christine, I've been following you for some time. You know what you're talking about, but I just don't know if all of this is for me. I'm telling you guys, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Do you want to just sit here and listen to what I have to say every day? Or do you want to actually experience the results for yourself? Do you want to experience the results for yourself? And I know that you guys want results. I know that you. some of you guys are, are scared. I know that some of you guys have fear. I know some of you guys are burnt out. I know some of you guys are telling yourself right now, I want this, but you're tired. I know a lot of you guys have excuses. I know a lot of you guys have things that are going on in your life that are weighing you down in a very, very real way. And as a result of you being so weighed down, there's just a resistance. Um, Jackie Brown says, Morning, Christine, is it okay to consume both collagen peptides and whey protein? Answers, hell yes, Jackie. That's a hell yes to that one. Um, I combine the two all the time. But... I appreciate you, Sunder Bands. Thank you for joining me today. And again, friends, um, 
I am asking you guys to to join. I'm asking you guys to join. And if you don't want to be pre-diabetic anymore, Mallory, there's only one way to change it. And that's by making changes with your nutrition and staying consistent. So guys, I love you all. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you winning. And please have grace towards yourselves. I think that some of you guys are speaking a negative narrative to yourself right now. And I don't know who that is. But I know somebody needs to hear this right now that you need to stop being so hard on yourself. You need to stop being so hard on yourself. You need to start having some grace towards yourself and you need to start making changes. You need to start making these changes, guys. I am not saying all of this so you buy shit from me. I am saying all of this so that way you don't come to the end of yourself. I understand what I'm saying. Do you know what it feels like when you come to the end of yourself and you just unravel and you're tired and you're in distress and you don't feel like yourself and your energy is low and you are so exhausted that you, you don't even know where you would get the strength to try. You don't even know when you would get the strength to try. Guys, I'm telling you this because you can't give up on yourselves. I'm telling you this because too many of you have been telling yourself these BS lies for too long. And too many of you guys have just given up. You've given up. And I'm telling you guys, stop giving up. There is hope. Tomorrow is a new day. Today is a new day. Today is a gift. The fact that your eyes are open, the fact that there is air in your lungs, the fact that you are breathing, the fact that you are here, the fact that you are able to hear this message, guys, let this be your wake up call to stop sleeping on your goals. Stop sleeping on your goals. Stop selling yourself short. Stop telling you, stop saying you don't have time. Stop saying those excuses. Stop saying you can't. Stop saying you can't. You can do this. You can do this. You can accomplish this. And guys, I'm giving you guys every single tool imaginable to approach it because I am sick and tired of seeing you guys living a life of defeat. When you live a life of defeat, you can't help anybody. When you live a life of defeat, um, you can't even help yourself, let alone um, I, I've been going live most weekdays, Stephanie. I think I'm going to start getting into a schedule, but, um, I, I do them most weekdays. Um, and I'm doing this because I want to connect with you guys. I'm doing this because I, I, you never know who needs to hear an encouraging word. Your motivation cup can never be too full. Um, your motivation cup can never be too full. So with that being said, my friends, um, thank you all for joining today. Does anyone have any questions before we sign off? Any questions? Now, before you guys leave, I do ask, please do a thumbs up. Please do a thumbs up. I know I sound annoying. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you put the notification bell on. But again, buy one, get one free Super Bowl sale on gagelife.com. You have to add the extra products. And sign up for the winter challenge is open. When do you sign up? Enrollment is open now. So I would sign up today. I would sign up today so you definitely get committed. And thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. Um... I'm diabetic type 2. I was wondering, can I eat protein without it spiking my insulin? The answer is yes. Protein will not spike your insulin. So you would be a wonderful candidate for the Super Bowl sale. Um, it is on my vegan and collagen proteins. So guys, head on over there. It's while supplies last and it's selling like crazy because it is such a big steal. So um, don't miss out on that opportunity. Visit gagelife.com. Peace out, my friends.